Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Creamer Media's Anun Vermeulen joins me in studio today to discuss mega property development, the multi-billion rand waterfall city, which is currently under construction in Midrand. Hi Anun. Hi Tracy. What is the thinking around the waterfall city development? Planning of the waterfall city development began after government decided to expropriate the land for uh, development of ESCOM's Megawatt Park and the Buklu Interchange development. Um, a decision was then taken to develop the land. As a result, the estate will be the biggest mixed-use property development in South African history. Um, it will provide between eight and 10,000 residential units and eventually house between 35,000 and 40,000 people. Um, it will also accommodate office space for up to 60,000 people. Um, the flagship of Waterfall City is the Mall of Africa, which is currently under construction and will be open in April next year. Building is unfolding in stages on land owned by the Islamic Waterfall Institute. Um, Atterbury Waterfall Investment Company, or AWIC, has a 99-year lease on the property to run and develop it. AWIC is um, developing the commercial side of things, while Century Property Development is developing the residential side of things. Um, the developers think that this could be a new central business district hub because it's strategically located between Pretoria and Joburg. And companies such as Golder and PwC have already moved their head offices to Waterfall City. Golder opened their head office last year and PwC's building will open in April next year. And when did the planning for the project start and what is the timeline on construction? Planning for the overall development began in 1997. Um, construction began last year and will take between 12 and 15 years to complete. Um, the developers see this as a lifestyle option for everybody, from families to single people to the elderly. Um, there's even an option for people who fall under the affordable housing segment. And what is the future thinking around mobility as the project de develops? The developers want to uh, build infrastructure that will enhance the future development of the property. Two projects are currently underway. One is the widening of the K71 Kailami Main Road um, and the R55 from the world of golf in Midrand to Maxwell Road um, at Waterfall Corner. At the same time, construction of the K60 will start this year, which is just south of Waterfall Country State Extension 19. A bridge is currently also being developed that will take people to and from the Mall of Africa. It will cross the N1 highway and link up with the R101 Old Johannesburg Road, and it will be open in April next year. Thanks for that insight, Samin. That is the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching, and join us again next time for more news analysis.